Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Ashley Baylor. I say we, but Ashley and I will not be back out there tomorrow. The rest of our team will be out there tomorrow, so make sure you stop by and say hello. But, of course, we are now talking about this weather we've seen. It was actually great weather today, although there's still a lot of uncertainty, I guess, about what can happen next week. Well, just because we have so many storms oh, yeah. out there that we have to track. So, yeah. you know, every single track uh, does have a little bit of uncertainty sure. associated with it. You know, I almost wish I was going to be back out there tomorrow because I love seeing the Blue Angels. I mean, I could watch them all day. But if you are looking for me tomorrow, I will actually be at the Farm Fresh at 1400 Kempsville Road in Chesapeake. I will be signing our hurricane guide from 2 to 4. So be sure you stop by and say hi. Here's a look at Tower Cam 10 over downtown Portsmouth and downtown Norfolk. We are tracking mainly clear skies and pretty light winds, and that could in turn lead to some fog by tomorrow morning, very similar to what we've seen the past two mornings. It is 70 degrees in Virginia Beach right now, 68 in Newport News, 72 at Wallops Island. Farther inland, we're down to 67 in Suffolk, and it is 68 degrees in Ahoskie. It's not a bad night out there. If you're heading out to the NES Oceana Air Show tomorrow, expect partly cloudy skies, highs around 79 degrees. There could be a spot shower or two, so you know, worthwhile keep an eye on the radar, but I think it'll still be a pretty decent day. Now, of course, our attention turns to the tropics. We have a lot going on out there. We have Hurricane Jose, still a Category 1 hurricane. It is expected to remain a Category 1 hurricane, so good news that it's not expected to strengthen over the next couple of days as it makes the pass uh, through uh, the East Coast there. Now, we also have Tropical Storm Maria hanging out in the Atlantic, and we also have Tropical Storm Lee. I'm really not going to focus much attention on Tropical Storm Lee because it's not expected to strengthen and it's also not expected to affect any land. Our main concern is going to be Jose and Maria. Here's a look at Hurricane Jose right now. Winds are sustained at 80 miles per hour, continues north at 7 miles per hour. For the past few days, it's kind of been in that holding pattern uh, out in the Atlantic south of Bermuda, but now it's going to start to make the turn north. So let's put the latest track on Jose for you. And as I said, it's not expected to gain any strength. It should remain a Category 1 hurricane as it continues on this north track. But notice it is expected to still stay a couple couple hundred miles offshore from Virginia and North Carolina. So that's great news for us. That's a forecast for us. It has not even changed since the update we had earlier at 5 o'clock. The effects here will be pretty minimal as it does make, make its pass uh, from the, through the mid-Atlantic states or offshore the mid-Atlantic states, I should say. Here we may catch a couple isolated showers, especially closer to the coastline. The breeze will pick up a little bit, only between about 10 to 15 miles per hour. As far as tidal flooding goes, we could see some nuisance tidal flooding during high tide going late Monday on through Wednesday just because of that northeast wind. And so that's about it for us. And, you know, no surprise, the surf is going to be rough and there will be a high risk of recurrence. In fact, that'll be starting tomorrow. As you can see, Jose will likely weaken back to a tropical storm as it moves into cooler water. So it is expected to skirt away from southern New England. So that's great news for them. But it's still worth watching over the few, next few days. Now, unfortunately, Maria is going to be a problem, especially for the Lesser Antilles and a lot of those islands out there. Maria is expected to gain strength and possibly pass over the Lesser Antilles as a Category 2, maybe even Category 3 hurricane by Monday and Tuesday of next week. And as you can see, the track continues right over Puerto Rico and moving just north of the Dominican Republic here as a major Category 3 hurricane. So unfortunately, those islands that really cannot afford another landfall it looks like that's going to be imminent at this point. So, unfortunately, it's really bad news for them down there. As we take a look at our future track forecast, just giving you an idea of what we can expect closer to home. Again, a couple spot showers possible out there tomorrow. We head into Monday. Watch as Jose starts to move up the coast. Look how far out it is going to be, though. I'm actually going to step on the other side of the screen so you can see Jose here. It's going to be well offshore, but we could catch, you know, a couple outer bands. So, I won't rule out the possibility of an isolated shower closer to the coastline. And again, maybe a little bit of a breeze but as I really can't emphasize enough, the effects here are going to be very, very minimal. So Jose Pass is well offshore Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday we are dry. A couple isolated showers possible late Thursday and on into Friday. All of our latest forecast updates are at wavy.com.